Welcome to another episode of White Gloves Review, where we try different products before you buy. Today we have the Wursh Espresso Maker. I want to give you guys a little background on this thing. So we received this from one of our viewers who requested that we create a one minute commercial for him. But you know what? This is White Gloves Review. I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna do you a whole video. Oh shit, whoa, what is, oh, what? I, where did I get this watch? <laughs> That's how they do it on TV, right? <laughs> Anyways, this is the full set. We have the actual espresso maker right here. It comes with this, uh, I don't know how many liters because I threw away the box. We'll have it on the screen. It comes with this uh, water filter in the back. This is actually very cool, by the way. It's a handle, you can pick it up and go, but once you set it down, you push it back, it closes. This is, this is smart. Then this is the spoon, where you pick up your espresso powders, your ground coffees. I thought this was a stand at first. I said, oh, they make a fancy spoon that stands up. No, they don't. This is actually for this. Once you put the ground coffee in here, you use this to pack this down to make a compact. This is a stainless steel filter. This is your milk frothner. So this is where the hot steam comes through and you put your milk here and you froth it, make it thick and foamy. So I'm gonna shut up. This is my first time, full transparency, first time. We're gonna go and put this baby to the test. I got a jug of water and see this? Oh, look. Oh, I don't need to bring this to a sink. I can just do this. But I do have to say, it's a little bit difficult to pour even though the design is ingenious. We'll leave a little. There you go. Boom. So the reservoir, see this? Y'all see me? I'm gonna carry this over. This is the reservoir. Slide this in. Close it. There you go. Uh, so we have this plugged in now. I'm going to attempt to turn it on and off. On. Still not on. Are you Hold on. Oh, sorry. The, <laughs> the extension cord's power wasn't turned off. Okay, I'm gonna do it final time. Third time's a charm. On. Oh, I heard it, I heard it. So now I have this bad boy on. Oh, it's kind of warm. One of the features is it heats up instantly. Was it 45 seconds? 45 seconds, I believe. Gosh. 40. 40 seconds, okay, 40 seconds. All right, we're now gonna go and make ourselves some espresso. Okay, so we got the good and gather signature. Ain't nobody know. Organic espresso beans. Mm, looks about, just for shits and giggles, I like my espresso shot extra. By the way, you guys hear that? That's an airplane noise. We've upgraded, as you guys know. A new table, a new backdrop. We moved from the train station to the airport. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> you hold on to this so that it doesn't move. See? It wiggles, it doesn't. And then you use the end of this, pat it down. Just push it down. Do I, do I do, am I doing this right? Pressing hard. Okay, I'm pressing hard, okay? Okay. That's about as hard as it goes. <laughs> That's what she said? I know there's an unlock right here and there's a lock right here. So I'm attempting to, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about guys? Just touch and feel it. Oh, 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 it's in, all right. So this is unlock. You twist this bad boy. Boom. All right, it's locked. So it took us a while because we're trying to figure out what kind of mug cups to use for this. There's a height limitation. Sorry, tall people. <laughs> so in order to show you the most authentic experience, we choose to use a see-through transparent glass. We're gonna try to fit it, that to angle it a little bit. There you go, we got it in place. All right, as we were waiting, there's a heat pump inside that's actually slowly heating up water. Based on what I've been told, just turn this knob to my left. What the fuck? Dude, they call it a shot espresso. 
What the f- Hey! Hey, 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 what the f- It's gonna stop, right? Oh, am I supposed to do- Oh, what the f- I'm supposed to turn it off myself? Okay, um... First time, first time, okay, I got it. I'm like, why is it still going on and on? Can I get a straw or something? <sighs> okay, I thought it was a like preset, okay? My bad, hold on. All right, we're gonna try to figure out how to clean this crap because this is not what I was thinking. We'll be back. You'll be back. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. So we're gonna do this again the proper way now that I've learned the tricks of the trade. All right, we're set. We're gonna do this properly now. So we're gonna probably do about a third of it right here, but you guys will see how this works properly this time. So turn it to the left. Eh? 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 Okay, okay. So that's what you should do with an espresso. So this is what it looks like. Obviously you can control the output based on the knob. It's not automatic. It's not a preset size. So obviously we all know espresso goes well with foam milk. We actually went to Target today and bought this. Can you believe how much this should cost? It was at $15, dude. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It was made from Italy. Italian. By the same people that made uh, Ferraris and Lamborghini. This is called a frothner mug, I believe. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Maybe a little more. Shut. Maybe one third. That's the producer, by the way. It's very annoying. All right, we're gonna do some foam. I'm gonna switch this this way so you guys can see. See this? This is the frothner. This is where the steam comes through and they gave you this little plastic handle. So what it does is you can adjust it, right? There's actually a setting right here where you can be making your espresso while you're foaming your milk. Take a look, whole milk right here. All right, make sure the milk is touching. Actually, I should show you like this. Yeah, y'all see? I'm gonna now turn it all the way. Oh, what the? Oh, oh! Whoa! Oh, yo, ho, hold up, hold up! That's why I told you, don't put too much. This is cool, look at this. Mmm! Just a load of <clears throat> air, but it's pretty good. Shit, man, if you save um, $5 from Starbucks or something, make this at home. We've now come to the final stretch of the video. Let's go into the pros really quickly. First and foremost, this is very easy to use. Three settings. You have the espresso, you have the milk frother, and you have the two-in-one where you can have both of them operating at the same time. The assembly of the machine is very simple. You have this detachable water reservoir with a portable handle, easy to carry. And speaking of which, a number of you have been asking about how well some of these machines clean. So this one is actually quite easy to clean. Uh, look, these are all plastic. For the actual filter right here, there's a little, it's a little notch right here. You just turn this notch until, until you hit a groove. See that little groove right here? All of a sudden it comes out. So you can clean this separately. And then also right here, this tray comes out easily. There you go. Another thing that you can wash is this frothner head right here. This thing, I just found out, it comes out. You see there's a little bit of uh, milk residue. Wipe it down, just wipe it down with a wet towel. And then you can rinse this really quickly. And then the third pro, uh, we actually did a little bit of research on Amazon, took a look at a few of the price ranges. This thing comes in at about 119, give or take $120, uh, US dollars of course. This is actually kind of on the mid entry level because you do have some higher end that's in like the 600. You have some higher end in like the two, 3000. So this is pretty decent, especially given the fact that you have 
all these features. Lastly, this reservoir, it heats up very, very quickly. Uh, it says 40 seconds, but you guys saw me, you plug it in, you leave it there for a while. Once you turn on this uh, knob, you just have hot espresso coming up. Uh, obviously, one of the con was this button right here. This is me personally. I don't like the fact that you can't have a preset which is a good and a bad thing, but sometimes if you have a machine like this, you want to just push a button, leave it there while you go do your stuff. By the time you come back, you already have a glass of espresso ready. But yeah, that's the only con actually. We'll give it some more usage, and then if anything else comes up, we'll give you guys an update. One last thing before we go. After all this shenanigans, we actually did do a one minute commercial for our friends who sent us this. So I'm gonna shut up now and show you guys the commercial.